In order to pair the wireless inspection probe with your iOS device, you simply need to download the Connector Max 2 application on the App Store. You can simply type in XFO and the Connector Max 2 application should come up as one of the first applications you see. So you simply install it and the application should be ready to use. Once that the application is downloaded on your phone, you will turn on the wireless probe and the blue indicator here will tell you that the Wi-Fi function is activated. Now you will pair it up with your phone by going onto the Wi-Fi setting. You will see that your Wi-Fi on your device will detect the wireless inspection probe. You simply select it and go back to your main screen. You can simply launch the application. You can now see that the FIP435P is connected to your phone and start live video mode. We are now in live video mode. Before you get started with the series of tests that you have to complete, you can actually configure the application using the different um, menus here. So you can press on identification where you can input all of the information that you need on your report at the end of the job job ID, company, location, direction, connector ID, and all of this type of information can be input here. From this menu, you can actually go on to two different other tabs. One is the auto naming, where you can add some active identifiers such as the FIP model. You can also remove it easily. There's also the increment tab, where you can also use the same process and add the location, for example, or remove it as you see fit. Going back to the main screen, you can also configure the standard for which you're going to test your connectors. So by default, this one is selected, but you can select the one that is suitable for your needs. You can also configure the amount of testing that you want to do with your wireless probe. It is set as of now to auto center, auto focus, auto capture and auto analysis, but you can deactivate one or two as you see fit. We're just going to leave them in for now. You can also go into the application setting and configure if you want to auto save all of the, your tests and generate report as soon as you perform a test. It's now time to test. We're going to test a um, SC UPC connector using a U25 MB tip, which we're going to cover a little later. Now we just need one step, which is connecting the fiber to our probe, and it will auto center, auto focus, auto capture, and provide the analysis right away. You can look at the screen or you can actually look at the LED indicator right here on the probe without even looking at your screen. What you can do whenever you are in this view here, you can actually zoom in onto the defaults and see where they're at. You can take out the overlay or leave it for a better view and you can actually inspect results and see where it fails according to the standards. Now that the connector is dirty, we can simply clean it up using this type of cleaner. And perform the test again. You are now in live view. The test has been performed. analysis is being done and we now have a clean connector. When we configured the application we mentioned that we wanted it to save the results right away and also create a PDF report but you can also create your own PDF report manually by clicking on this button. There you have your PDF report. You can also access all of the tests that have been performed on, on the device by clicking on this icon and then all of the tests are saved here. You can also go on to the PDF view where you will see that all the PDFs that have been created. 
You can share your results by selecting the tests that you would like to share. Click on select. Identify the one you like to share and press the share button here. You select the connector max application and you can select the application from which you'd like to share the results. It can be a text message, an email, or you can simply save it to the device. For different types of connectors, we actually have to use different tips on the probe. For example, an APC SC connector will require this type of tip. Simply remove this one, switch it up, and you are ready to test. You will need to align the keys on both the connector and on the probe for it to match. We have another clean pass connector. So for each type of connectors that you will find in the field, you will need a different tip. For SC UPC connectors, such as this one, you will need two different types of tips. One for the male version, which is going to be engraved U25MB. You, need, you will need one for the female version, which is engraved FSB. Same for the SC APC type. The male version is U25MAB and the female version is SCAB. For the LC UPC connectors, such as this one, you will need a, f a male version U12MB and the female version LCB. For the LC APC connectors, you will need a tip U12MAB as well as the female LCAC.